Estes Aron con e de Inacompares.com. Otro video para ti. Oi. Oh, oh, my least favorite subject when it comes to information technology, and that's fucking printers. So let's cut to the chase so I can quickly make this video and get the fuck out of here. I don't know what, what I was thinking when I tried to help this person. When it comes to printers, now nah, I avoid them. All right. I have an MX922 printer. That's a Canon. It's a Canon Pixma. Problem. Printer shows service code C000, zero, 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 three zeros. I have turned printer off, unplugged it, plugged it in, and turned it on, and still get the same error. I have done this several times with the same result. All right? This individual was using their printer wirelessly. They were using a Macintosh computer, a Mac and crap computer with operating system 10.14.2, also known as Mojave. I don't know why they performed this, but they disconnected the printer from the network and figured that would fix it. Nah, 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 nah. That, here's a tip. Look up what these error codes are, and you'll find out how to solve them. But anyways... Here's what solved this problem, and then I will give you some overtime with additional tips. What fixed this problem was they reseeded the inkjet cartridges, also known as ink tanks. I don't know why printer nomenclature is this, but some printer manufacturers refer to ink cartridges as ink tanks. They're the same thing. It's just semantics. They are synonyms of each other. Ink tank ink cartridge it's the same thing it's where the ink gets stored that your printer uses that's all that is that's what fixed this problem they reseeded the ink cartridges it depends on the printer i'm not going to go into great detail click on the link in the description box below that'll take you to my website inetcomputers.com where i will have a blog post written with more details and a couple of extra additional links to more troubleshooting that may include videos and it may include photos I'm not going to sit here and describe every facet, but quickly, when it comes to inkjet cartridges, never, ever, 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 ever force them. Most of them are controlled by a motor. You notice when you turn on your printer, it makes a bunch of clankety noises sometimes. The, all that is is the arm. The arm where the inkjet cartridges are located moves back and forth, and then it finally sits in its proper place. Don't ever take your hand and forcefully move the inkjet cartridges where they are positioned. That is an electronic arm. By you forcing it, you probably just fucking broke the printer. All right? Once the cartridges are accessible the way they should be, however you have to get them accessible, sometimes they're stuck in the corner and you have to do I'm not going to go into all those details. Make sure that the printer cartridges are accessible. You open up a door. Sometimes opening the door moves them in the correct place so that you can grab, reach them. Most times you just grab them. It depends on you press a tab or you just grab up and then remove them, both of them, all of them, if there's more than one, and then you place them back in where they were before. And make sure they're tight. Close the door. It, the cartridges will move where they're supposed to go so that the printer will work. That is what fixed this problem, reseeding the, the cartridges. But, but not, when it comes to printers, I almost never fucking waste time with them because it can be all kinds of different scenarios that could cause the exact same error code, the C000. So here are some additional tips if that does not fix your issue. It could be the packing material. Whenever you unbox a new printer, whenever you set up a new printer, read the quick start guide. That's why quick start guides are written. A setup guide. Make sure you remove any packaging material, any packing material for shipping. Remove any tape that you're supposed to remove. But especially packaging or packing material, that could cause the C000 error. The, we already went over the ink tanks, which is another word, well, it's another phrase for ink cartridge. Reseeding it, taking them out, 
and p placing back in, that cleared this error. There could be a paper jam. The paper could be jammed in these locations. The output slot, the paper could be jammed in the automatic duplex printing. While it's automatic, automatic duplex means double-sided printing, two-sided printing. When, the, when your printer tries to print double-sided, that may be when it jams. It could be jamming in the upper cassette, also known as the upper tray, where the tray where you store the tr paper. It could paper loaded in the upper cassette could be jamming. Same thing with the lower cassette, the lower tray. Paper loaded there is getting jammed. Paper could be jamming as the printer is pulling in the paper to print on before it hits the fuser, before the heat then stamps the ink onto the paper. It could be jamming there. It could also be jamming in the auto document feeder. The auto document feeder, that's notorious for paper to get jammed. It's where you, uh, you fax these multifunctional, multi faceted piles of shit. I mean, also known as inkjet printers. I would never fucking use an inkjet printer. And I would, but anyways, that might be overtime. But I, I, gotta, I, can, I can't make this video too long because I don't want to waste time on a fucking video about printers. It could be the auto document feeder, which is the same feeder for scanning in documents, which is the same feeder for copying, which is the same feeder for faxing. It's where you place pieces of sheets of paper and then it automatically pulls them and feeds it, that could be where the paper is jamming. So another possibility that is causing the C triple zero error is paper jam at the audit document feeder. Also, it could be torn paper. There, you could have had a previous paper jam and you, you pulled the paper and it ripped and you didn't notice it or you forgot and sure enough, you've got some paper still in the printer that's jam causing the jam. There could be torn paper causing the jam or there could be paper literally inside the printer that you cannot see with your eyes that is jamming. If all of these tips don't work, then what you could try is this, which this individual tried this trick or tip, but it did not fix their problem. It was receding the cartridges that fixed the problem and made that ugly, nasty, just hideous C triple zero errors. I almost never fuck with printer hardware. Uh, nah. B200, B500, C, nah. I don't know what I was thinking that day. I must have been desperate for money or I don't know. Really, really on the rocks. Really mentally ill that day, man. <laughs> really looking for punishment. I'm looking for abuse, I mean. Disconnect the power cable from the wall outlet. Press and hold the power button on the printer for 30 to 60 seconds. Leave the printer disconnected from power for 5 to 10 minutes. Come back, plug in the power cable into the wall outlet, power on the printer, and see if that fucking piece of shit, nasty C000 error disappears. It may or may not. This clown tried it, and it didn't fix the issue. Anything outside of that, according to Canon's technical documentation and their own troubleshooting guides or articles or whatever you want to refer to these, which I'm looking at right now, if it's anything outside of that, you're fucked. Now, they claim that you can get the printer serviced. If the problem is not resolved, service is required. If the printer is no longer under warranty, what's the point? Waste of money, waste of time. If it costs more money to service the piece of shit, you may as well just got, go out and buy another one, but it's up to you. Yeah, 
this is another reason why I don't fuck with printers a lot, especially if they've got lights. The the, the orange, the proverbial orange flashing light, or the the exclamation, the the orange or yellow exclamation that just keeps blinking. Nah, <laughs> nah. Now chances are you might not even be able to service that printer. And I like I stipulated moments ago, seconds ago. What it costs you two hundred dollars to get the printer fixed, but you only paid fifty for it. Well, that doesn't, you know, the math there doesn't add up, but whatever, it's up to you. A lot of times these printers, when you start noticing these kind of problems, you're fucked. You know what I'm saying? The printer could be on its way out, but whatever. I will give you a bonus gold tip. My gold tip video of the, of the day or whatever. Well, whatever. I don't make videos every day, thank God. Thank dog. I mean, I'm not religious. If I made technology videos every fucking goddamn day, my mental illness would just skyrocket. It's already bad enough as it is because I've picked this fucking stupid, lame-ass career choice. It's not a career. It's, it's either that or you're immensely poor. Oh, that's right. I'm already poor because there is no money in information technology. <laughs> no, help desk, nah. The working class poor, uh-uh. Death side support, no. Nah. Any uh, telephone tech support, nah. Nah, nah, nah. All right, my gold tip is, this was not included in their troubleshooting, which isn't a big deal because they did kind of cover it. Printers are notoriously garbage, especially the ink jets. Laser, laser jets, much better. Even when you have to service them, a better chance that you'll still be able to use them. What I mean by print inkjet printers are notoriously garbage is they jam a lot. Sometimes it's the rollers. Do not forget the fucking rollers. Printers have all kinds of rollers because, think about it, the rollers feed the paper. They pull the paper through the printer. There's Exit rollers, entry rollers, ADF, the automatic, you know what I'm saying? The automatic paper feeder. The automatic document feeder. I fucking hate acronyms. The automatic document feeder has rollers too. When rollers get old, dust, you're in a dusty environment. Most houses have all kinds of dust. Well, dust accumulates and it can accumulate on the rollers. Inside the printer, there's dust. Ink sometimes gets on the rollers. Any kind of gunk gets on the rollers. Clean the rollers, clean them all. Actually, here's another additional tip. I would include cleaning the rollers as your routine printer maintenance. Clean them every few months. Or if you notice the paper gets slower and slower and slower as it spits out or slower and slower as it's in the auto document feeder. You ever notice that printer? It's just like it, it grinds like a coffee machine. And then the printer, you can literally, you know, go out and mow the lawn or you could literally, you know, watch the grass grow and come back in and the paper is still grinding away, slowly traveling through that goddamn auto document feeder. Sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes it's, it works good. Then the next day it doesn't. It could be because the rollers are gunked up with crap. Clean the rollers. Do you know what you should use to clean the rollers? Isopropyl alcohol, 99% alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. 99% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Clean it with that. Clean all the rollers. Then see if that clears that C000 error. But that's my gold tip. You can use that for any kind of 
problems with your printer when it comes to paper jams or the paper f takes forever to feed or sometimes the paper comes out when it's finished printing sometimes it, it's it's halfway or sometimes it that slow clean the printer rollers and I would include that as regular printer maintenance every few months clean their motherfucking rollers and you may see a lot less problems with your printer you know what I'm saying as far as printer as far as you know paper jams as far as problems with the paper itself I'm not no I'm not no 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 I'm not talking about other shit like the fuser and the, I don't oh my god just thinking about replacing a fuser is making me oh I gotta run I don't want to talk about this shit anymore <laughs> adios